Hello everyone, welcome to a Hardware Logic video review. I'm Aaron Schatz, Editor-in-Chief of ASC Publishing. Today we'll be looking at the Thermaltake Black X 5G USB 3 external hard drive dock. This is review ID 15351. You can check out this and all our other reviews at Hardware Logic by going to www.hardwarelogic.com. Also subscribe to our RSS feeds on Hardware Logic and subscribe to our ASC Labs YouTube feed to be in the know of all our other video and text reviews. And please leave us some comments, we'd love to hear from you. So let's get down into the review. Okay, so let's take a quick look around the Black X 5G. So basically it looks like one of the original Black X units that had either USB only or E-serial ATA and USB 2. And it doesn't have the duet style two hard drive docks, it has a single drive port, so it's just one drive at a time. Release button here, the power button's right here. And it's got a nice super speed logo here for the USB 3 mantra, which is called super speed. Uh, you have back here, you have the USB 3.0 port, which is a B port, as you can see, and a DC import, so for your AC adapter. And let me show you a little bit here. They actually give you a USB 3 A to B cable, so this plugs into your computer, of course, <laughs> and this plugs into the Black X 5G, like so. Upside down, of course, like that. Now, let me see if I can zoom in on the cable for you. I want to show you the difference here. Now, normal USB 2 just has the bottom part right here, right here, and USB 3 adds this little top part with four extra conductors. So that means you can't use this cable with USB 2. Likewise, you can use a USB 2 cable with this. Unfortunately, you won't get USB 3 speed, so that's something you have to think about. But thankfully, Thermaltake includes this cable along with it, or else you wouldn't be able to use this without buying another USB 3 cable. You also need a USB 3.0 card in your computer, so if you don't have that, you'll be stuck to USB 2.0 speeds. And then buying this is, why would you do that? Get you serial ATA instead. But that's that. Thermaltake also includes the AC adapter and these two silicone booties for hard drives, which we'll go into a little bit later. All right, so like the original, you basically just take a hard drive, line it up here, and drop it in place. And that's basically how you work the unit. Now the release is right here, it comes right out. Let me show you how the little booties work. So you got this little booty, and let's say you got this Kingston SSD right here. Just flip it around, put that in there, and it's on like that, and that's, that's basically how it works. So it's an interesting little concept. It's not one that I'm ever going to use past this review because if I'm swapping out hard drives, I'm not putting this little silicone booty on any of the hard drives I'm using. I'm just swapping them in and out, and that's how it works. So if you want to use that for a single hard drive, that's great. But you know what? Most people probably won't even use this, and they'll probably lose it anyway. But still a nice little tidbit extra that Thermal Tape gives you. So now i got the unit plugged in. I'm going to show you what the power button looks like. Oh, let's try turning it back on. You see the nice subdued blue here. Let me see what happens if I show you this plugged in right now. Well, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show you the super speed logo without plugging it into a super speed USB 3 computer. And I don't have one at my disposal in this area, so just look at the text review. You'll see the super speed lit up while that is done. And it really is interesting. If this isn't plugged into a USB 3 computer, this super speed logo won't light up. But other than that, there's no real transfer indicator on here. You, you know, normally you'd have a transfer indicator light to know that the hard drive is being, you know, written or read from. So this one doesn't have, and that's just that's just really strange. All the other black X had an indicator light. This one just doesn't. So I don't know about that, but I mean, you know, <laughs> It's, it's important enough, but I just I just still don't understand why they didn't include it. So that's just, that's for you to decide if, you, if that's really too, you know, important to lose. But I, you know, it doesn't matter to me too much, but I, I still like to see the indicator light. It just doesn't have one. Unless I'm missing it somewhere and then just let me know. But no, it doesn't have an indicator light. So something to think about. The Thermaltake Black X 5G retails for probably under $50. The MSRP is actually $50, and it's actually the same MSRP as the original USB 2.0 Black X. You get these booties extra, and you get this nice USB 3 cable, so if you're considering a Black X drive, 
just buy this one. The 5X is much, much better than the, the original one. This, you future-proof yourself with USB 3. If you like eCereal ATA, they make a different one that has eCereal ATA. If you need two hard drives at once, they have the Black X Duet. So they pretty much got it covered on all fronts. The next unit I expect to see is one that has USB 3, eCereal ATA, and two hard drive docks. You know what? Screw it. Four hard drive docks. Or eight. But well, you know what I mean. More than one, because they already did two, so you might as well have two mixed in with all the other good functionality. But still, this is a great product. It's got a solid construction, thermal takes. Black X was the pretty much the pioneer for these external hard drive docks that just you plug in and go. And, and really, their units are solidly built, so it's a nice product. Hardware Logic would like to thank Thermal Take for sending the Black X 5G for review. You can check out links on Hardware Logic to purchase this product from various merchants. For Hardware Logic and ASC Publishing, I'm Aaron Schatz. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to our RSS feeds and YouTube channels. We'd love to hear from you. Please send us feedback, send us comments. We love that. So post on a forum, send me an email, send me a private message, <laughs> post a comment on YouTube. Anything you want, except don't make fun of the sites or I'm going to come and get you. That's right, I'm coming for you. Thanks for watching. Look forward to hearing from you.